Hello there everyone, Ash and Flash here. We're back. We're here. We're here with another Ash and Cast, and uh, it's going to be a bit of a different one. Uh, but anyways, as always, I'm joined by Just Too Good himself. Yo, what's up? Just Too Good here. <laughs> and, Talking Lego Movie 2. Exactly. And so today, uh, because I'm actually going to be gone this weekend when this video goes up, we're pre-recording this two weeks before, um, so there's not going to be any news or box office bashing or anything like that, because it won't apply to the week mm -hmm. that this is coming out. Um, so yeah, exactly. uh, we're going to dive straight into the Lego movie, but first we're going to do non-spoilers and spoilers. Um, I guess primarily what were your thoughts before spoilers? Uh, yeah, I thought that this was a worthy successor to the first movie. Mm -hmm. I think that it's the second best Lego movie. It didn't live up to the first movie in terms of just quality, but that's like a crazy thing to do because the first movie is one of my favorite films of all time at this point. Mm -hmm. But uh, I think what they did here, they expanded the world. Yeah. They explored different things that I wouldn't expect, lots of surprises. And uh, I think they did a great job uh, keeping that same feel of humor and, and that same level of animation that was fantastic. Yeah. And even a great story to boot with a lot of emotion and message to it and meaning. Exactly. Without saying what it is, but it, like the message, I yeah. think maybe was more powerful here than the first i, I don't know um but we'll talk about that after um for me um people keep asking me was this better than the first one um i would say that it's a very different film like there's it's a different like while you still have the same characters and such and it has the same feel what's happening is very different i'd say so... which is good because there's a lot of sequels where they just do the same thing as the first one mm -hmm. And I like that they did take a different route here. Yeah. No, for sure. And um, there was a lot of things that, like, you barely watched any trailers, like, comparatively to me, because I watched almost mm -hmm. all, a lot of the TV spots and such, because I wanted to see new figures. Um, so, yeah, that, to me, going into this, I was just blown away. Like, I, I just, I didn't expect a lot of things, and, but, uh, yeah, it was really mm -hmm. good. Yeah, I was glad. It seemed like the trailer showed a lot of stuff from, like, the first third of the movie so that's good yeah. like it in retrospect i'm i'm glad at the, uh, how I much they showed they did, the trailers yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. but uh are, did you give a scale on it already a, a rating i never i i mean by this point yeah the review would be the rating would be posted but i'd give it an eight out of ten eight out of ten what'd you give the lego movie nine or ten out of ten wow okay there you go yeah. and where did so this for so ranking for you it goes Lego Movie, uh, Lego Movie mm -hmm. 2, Batman, and then Ninjago? Yeah, Batman's like a 7 or 6 out of 10. Ninjago's like a 5 or 6 out of 10. Mm -hmm. I see. So, yeah. I still go back and forth between... Uh, I don't know. I really love the Lego Batman movie, but I'm very biased for that. <laughs> so, like, when you hear about what some of my favorite parts of this movie was, <laughs> you'll understand. Yeah. Um, so... Yeah, I don't know. It's hard for me to place it, but I think it goes back and forth, Lego Movie and Lego Batman Movie for top mm -hmm. spot, but this was really good, so it's definitely better than yeah. Ninjago, which was still it was still fine. It was, it was fine. It was fine. It's just disappointing as a Lego movie. It's like Super Paper Mario. To those listening who like the Paper Mario games, Super Paper Mario is a good game. It's just not a good Paper Mario game. Mm -hmm. Ninjago Movie is a good movie. It's just not a good Ninjago movie. Or Lego, Lego movie. movie. Sorry. Yeah. What, yeah, well, yeah. according to the Jagger fans, also not a good name. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, I think that's it for non spoilers then. Non -spoilers. We'll just start. All right, so we're going to be spoiling in. stuff. Please, guys, if you haven't seen the movie, go see it. Um, yeah. Because, you know, if you're a Lego fan, you're most likely going to like it, and we're going to be spoiling stuff. So. Mm -hmm. Oh, and by the way, just before, I don't know if you're still listening, if you caught that, but um, we didn't get like a press screening or something like this. Like, I, <laughs> I keep telling people, like, yeah, I got to see it yesterday, and they're like, oh my gosh, Canadians get stuff really all the time. Like no, this is it was. There was a for fan everyone. screening in January. Yeah, yeah, and it's weird because the press screenings, at least in the U.S., are next week. So I don't, what like, you got cut out? What day? Oh uh, well, they're the week after the fan screening. Okay. So it seems like it's a smart move. WB's been doing this, and it helped with Aquaman. It looked like where mm -hmm. they'll release their movie early as a fan event, and then they get good word of mouth because it's easy to please fans. They like, yeah, they are also doing something interesting. I don't know if in your tweets you did hashtag Lego movie. Did you see I that? I didn't, know. I saw they were retweeting everybody, yeah. But mine not, was like a whole... Not review. just that. They were asking if they could use my... They asked me if I could use... They could use my comment. And I had to sign off on it. Like, I had to... Really? Yeah. That's kind of It wasn't awesome. just me, though. Dude, like, might... it was other people. 
Um, Dude, you might be in, like, an advertisement or something. That's what I was saying. So I put Ash in Flash. I didn't put my real name because, like, I don't know what they were going to do with it. Like, if they go, um, like, uh, the Lego movie was so great, whatever I said, and then Ash and like, no, no thank you. <laughs> but, yeah, so... Who knows? We'll see. I might, right after this, someone write a little tweet. And they were only no, they were only doing it yesterday for like an hour. Even the Lego Dang movie it. hashtag now it doesn't have Emmett's face anymore. That's weird. So, huh? Very strange. Well, you got you got part of something crazy. Yeah, there's only like 20 people, so this is awesome. Look at that! Yeah. You're gonna be featured on like a TV commercial. <laughs> like, oh shoot! Which is interesting. I never thought of that. Maybe that's why they do this stuff to put it in TV spots. Mm-hmm. But also like something else I realized was that different for you but this is the first time that i'm going into the lego movie without having the collectible minifigure series Mm -hmm. which was a strange feeling because i was like oh there's the figure that i still don't have there it is normally i'm like oh there's the figure i have and like i don't know it just it changes (laughs) like the excitement of seeing them on screen so yeah it was just weird it was a weird feeling maze mastermind doesn't have them yeah nobody has though they're really strict with street dates for collectible minifigure series so but uh anyways interesting interesting spoilers so Go. spoilers. Okay. Well, I was gonna say that um, the I I really emotionally connected to the story, so there might be bias there. Like okay. growing up with family members who I'd play Lego with, mm-hmm. you know, um, like I, I was getting really emotional with the whole third act, basically where they yeah. go to real life and they do all these things because it's like, yeah, I was like, so I I, I think that's why I like the movie. Like that might have altered my opinion of the movie yeah that's why i want to see it again and by this point this comes out i'll probably have seen it again yeah, i'm gonna see it i already have tickets from them to see it on thursday mm-hmm. so um nice but yeah for me like i was talking to jordan earlier a bit while we were playing fortnite and he's mm-hmm. like I, I i it was very slow start and i agree mm-hmm. i think that i i there was a point in the th- in the movie it was when she started singing the first time i was like mm-hmm man this is this is not good like i i i'm not i i'm not feeling it and i got really worried really and then when queen whatever saying the first time yeah and then when they when they did the i think it was when they got to the jungle world and then they moved to the houses mm-hmm. and they sang the catchy song which i i love that song um mm-hmm. i think that's when things actually start to pick up in terms of just plot and excitement I was, yeah um, for me, I was like, okay, so I actually, the first act, okay, mm-hmm. three act structure movie, you know, the first act, I liked the beginning and everything. And then at the end of the first act, when queen, whatever's introduced and mm-hmm. she starts singing and all this, that's when, yes, it got slow. I didn't like that yeah. song. I thought that song was bad. I thought so The only too. good thing for me was the animation during it. So I was, I was still kind of yeah. entertained there. And I liked seeing, uh, slow. like it was I like seeing the worlds that she was promising them. Like that was for me. Mm-hmm. I was like looking for stuff, uh, like Metal Beard ship to see if like the Flash was a part of his crew again, or different things mm-hmm. like that from the first one. Yeah. Um, so that's that's what I like about you know these movies is that you get entertained even if you don't like what's going on. You yeah. can just look at the screen and you'll be like, ooh ooh. You know, maybe that's not as good for people who don't like Lego. So that happened, and then like it got slow again around the second act with like Rex at some parts, and I was like, when they first oh, met you know, or something. That's when something I something around that. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I feel, and yeah. so. That, those two, um, but yeah, it started picking up around where you picked when you went out. And then I, I just, it's so sad because I thought the third act, where they go into real life, I thought that was so good. Like that, when they get put away, when they reveal Rex is evil, all this stuff, like all that stuff was just, like I was like so invested in the story. Not even just the humor, but this mm-hmm. like I was like, wow. You know, this really touched me. Um, but one thing I have to say is the one thing I didn't like of the final part of the film okay. was the mom's acting my yeah her acting was terrible just at the start like it it, it kind of yeah yeah i don't know yeah, it didn't I feel like, as natural as will ferrell uh-huh. for some reason you know what i mean yeah exactly um, and it's it's kind of a shame because the kids acting usually kid acting sucks i thought the kids did great in this movie yeah it was the only one that didn't feel natural was the mom where they like do the stepping on brick thing and i'm like this is kind of cringy yeah it got a lot of laughs the, my theater was very interesting i had so normally you know when these premieres happen it's at like Mm -hmm. eight o'clock so there's not really a lot of kids there and there's not really a lot of families and we just had some really interesting characters in the theater like some parents who just thought that like everything was just the most hilarious joke ever dude what the 
I had the same thing. I, and I don't know to why. To the left of me, and I, I made, Jordan didn't mention this because to the left of me, mm-hmm. there was this one mom who just, she was so annoying. Like, it's okay to laugh and stuff during yeah. the movie, but like, whenever there was like a little reference to something, like she'd start cheering and clapping. Like, <laughs> no, there was no cheering. Like, they did Doctor clap who at the shows end of up, it. She's but... like, woohoo! Yeah. RBG shows up, woohoo! They mentioned Hufflepuff, woohoo! Yeah. And it was just obnoxious. I'm like, please stop. Like, she was with two, like, her daughters. One was, like, a teen, one was a kid. They were quiet and very respectful. But the mom was so annoying. I was like, holy crud. It's okay to laugh. It's okay to clap, whatever. But, like, I was, she was clapping and laughing over this stuff, and I couldn't even hear the other stuff. I was like, come on. Like, I wanted to hear that. Like, that was a cool yeah. thing you know to me yeah it was just and they had like not a pleasant laugh either like no offense to that mm-hmm. person but like it was just a really kind of obnoxious laugh so any anytime yeah. like i think it was this the first time i noticed it was like when unikitty just she was like they just showed unikitty sleeping and she just lost mm-hmm. it and i was like uh, okay <laughs> why would she in that moment <laughs> um but uh i guess so we'll back things up i guess we'll go through the acts so we talked about this prior about did we think that Will Ferrell, um, Liam Neeson, and well Morgan mm-hmm. Freeman was gonna come back? They and they dealt also, with them uh, all. Who else? With uh, the Butler, uh, Alfred. Oh okay, yeah. Uh, Ralph yeah, Fiennes. Ralph Fiennes. Yeah. Ralph Fiennes. It's not. It's Ray spelled Fiennes? Ralph, but it's yeah. It's it's spelled right. Okay. Anyways, um, so Morgan Freeman, they like didn't even really address at all. They just slapped. I, I, I <laughs> was went, like, wow, yeah. that was that was something. I didn't They're like he that. had allegations. We can't put him back in. <laughs> yeah, that was. I I wonder if, I wonder if he was ever a part of this. Mm-hmm. I could you could tell stuff was cut. Because, you think? Like, where's the four? Hello, where's the four? Dalek bricks pointed this out to me. Okay. Shout out to Dalek bricks. Where's the four band members? Of Lucy's. They were band. on they the party ship. Lucy. Oh. They were, were never they? a part of Lucy's band. You were just assuming that I think because they had the same microphone. Oh, yeah. Oh, so they were on the party show? Yeah. Okay, well, they never even showed Lucy in that flashback version, only her hair. Right, so. yeah, yeah. And they didn't really hint at how she recorded Everything is Awesome, except that, like, the last shot. Yeah, that, yeah. Which was weird. That shot was That was actually a weird thing, um, because that was, like, popular band. And, yeah, it was smudged or something, but it never was, because they were just generic yeah. faces the whole time. That was weird, but then, like, five seconds later, the end credits... I was mesmerized. Those end credits were amazing. Yeah, can we talk about that? Did you notice something there? There was a really what? interesting Easter egg there. Was it Trump? Yes, and Hillary. Oh, I didn't notice that. My, I was like, oh my gosh, I Dad, look Trump. at that. Like, and then I wanted person? to message like, you, but I was like, no, I wanted to talk about it on the thing. So I, know. I was like, I, why, I, when I'm like, is that Trump? And then it went away. Yeah, like, oh, I noticed his orange. It was a really quick shot. Like it's very easily missed. It was as the thing was rotating. I saw, like, the blonde hair and the orange face and the blue suit. I was like, oh, my gosh, oh, my gosh. And then I saw who he was. I saw the, the red, it bright Hillary. red. I think it was right, bright red, I think, or blue. And I was like, wow, that's that's good on them. Good on them. I thought that was really Look, they interesting. they were showing that we could unite political parties. Mm-hmm. It was I want to know who else but... is there. Yeah, no, same. I was, I, see, I thought it was Trump, and I'm like, that's not Trump. And then it just went away. I'm like, oh, yeah. it probably wasn't. But that was really cool. Interesting. And that yeah. to oh, me that felt me- like I said, uh, that looked more s- real than the last ones. Okay, I'll say this. Yeah, that looked. What I was thinking at the end was they were going to show how they set it up or something, but they mm. didn't. Because it looked like it was filmed in real time. Like I want to see how they made that whole thing. Because that was rotating, yeah. rotating, rotating. My mom but, actually uh, memorized the colors for the uh, the the the, s- the credits because we stayed for the whole thing. She was like, "All right, the next one's blue. Next one's green." Next one's red. Oh, look at that. Like, there was just, it was just so repetitive. Also, something really interesting with that, because I don't think people are appreciating this. Like, I'm seeing some people bashing it because it's, like, a feminist thing, blah, blah, blah. Like, there was so many attention to details here. Like, even in the end credits, if you look, none of it was on a label maker like the first one. Right? What do you mean? The first credits were all typed out because it's by, like, Will Ferrell, the dad. Right? This one, it's hand-drawn. It's the kids. They're the, like, that... That to me, I, I appreciated that. Like I didn't even notice that as I didn't notice the original one. That's deep. And instead of it being a label, it was tape on like the actors' names. Like it was Chris Pratt, and it was just like a piece of tape with their names. So what? Is, on what it. do you mean by that? Well, I, what is that supposed to mean? I don't know. I just 
You think like the mom made that or something? No, maybe it it was like it was maybe I, I don't know. You said the dad typed it out, feminist thing. Well, because kind of because I guess, um, no, that that doesn't have to do with that. But just um, like, um, I don't know. Like the first one was, it was all organized, right? Everything was so to the point. Like I guess, uh, like everything was organized in present business. Blah blah. Like I don't know. That's just what I noticed. That it wasn't typed up anymore. Well, I it was like, like I, that. I like both end credits of this one and mm-hmm. the first movie. Thank the Lord they didn't end with a freaking dance scene because I hate it when animated movies do that. I like the Friends Are Family. No, no. I love that one. I love that song too. I'm not a fan. Uh, but yeah, and you know, I know Toy Story 3 did it. But anyways. And right, 2. Toy Story 3, 2 anyway. did. Toy Story 2 did? Toy Story 2 did. Well, all I remember the... is the bloopers. Um, with Wheezy singing, You've Got a Friend of Me. You got a friend of me. All right, fair. Maybe that was the one that started it. But basically in the 2000s Whoa. and the 2010s, all these movies ended, like these CGI movies mm-hmm. ended with a dance party and it got repetitive. Anyways, so about my feminist comment, it was that I saw some tweet and somebody posted on Instagram saying, like, uh, this was, they were worried about the Lego movie because they didn't get to see it and they saw some guy's comment. And it was like, uh, Lego panders towards female demographic for what and i'm like if you, there if was like you, one if you think that line in the whole movie that was like it was like when and it was the one from the trailer and then that was it that was like it was more oh about yeah like about how, lucy yeah but it was yeah. it was about it, he said something like along the lines of um you know they decide to go with telling it from the girl's perspective and i'm like if you think this story i said this to him because the person who posted it because i was like don't listen to this guy. If he thinks that the story was told from the just the girl's perspective, then he missed the entire movie. Like, he, he didn't missed, understand yeah, that, that, what that's, was that's going not the on point of, Yeah, okay, because the movie, from what I interpreted, it was the boy, mm-hmm. the, you know, Finn's point of view, and then it switched to the girl's point of view when Lucy's on the table, and then it switched back to Finn's point of view at the end when he has to show that he doesn't have to be this tough... Uh, guy when he grows up this mm-hmm. brooding edgy guy dealing with teenagehood so this guy totally missed the whole story because it wasn't really told from the female perspective like i i th- for majority of it i think that it was it was a lot back and forth more than that to me it was any time we're in the sistar system mm-hmm. no because, but i don't think that because the when we were in the sistar system mm-hmm. i think it was finn um visualizing it because he saw all these characters oh yes were. sorry so anytime we're seeing something with Emmett and rex this is from mm-hmm. Finn's perspective, like when we're in the worlds and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. But anytime that we're in like the castle and she starts singing, I'm not saying that I agree with this stereotype, but like you know when a little girl's probably coming up with an imagination, like she's watching. No, that's like, why I don't. Uh, I don't think it was because you don't think so? it was. Um, no, yeah, I think that was um, Finn imagining. Oh, this is what's happening in here. Yes, this is what's the happening catchy in the song. Castle. But I'm saying when she broke out into song, like Queen, whatever, Wanabi. Yeah, but she was obvi- like the song was obviously like an evil song. Mm. So that's why Finn was like, "Oh, this is what's happening. They're evil and they're trying to trick us with the wedding." Mm. That's why I still think it was through Finn's point of view. I'd say no because uh, again, we have no way of telling. But I'd say no because there was no singing in the first one. Like that. Well, no, because he was annoyed that um his sister I see. So you're song. saying that there's a much better version of that song that she actually sang? Yeah. And that, that's how he interpreted exactly. it. Oh, I love that. Yes. That, that redeems that that's song why, for me but you then. See, yeah, exactly. He, he interpreted it as this evil song. Hmm. Again, it's not even like, that's not even a, a real song. It's just, um, Finn interprets his sister as listening to all these pop songs yeah. like that. So he's like, okay, we got to make one that shows that she's clearly evil and she's going to do all this stuff because she's evil. Mm-hmm. So yeah, again, it's good we're having these discussions because what animated movies can you have these discussions with? It's you know? true. Yeah, I'm very happy that this movie's that level of quality. You can't have discussions like this through freaking Ninjago movie. Like, I'm sorry. <laughs> and I was but, so happy, whatever. like uh, the the uh, we need to use our heads or uh, we need to find our inner peace. And they have that whole moment Whoa, where their head spins around. I was so happy that wasn't in this movie because I was getting tired of it. Like in the mm-hmm. Lego Batman movie, yeah, no. it just felt really shoehorned in. They were like, "It's the third act, uh, so how are we gonna make this everyone know that this is a Lego movie?" Yeah, and then they do the head thing, and then exactly, it was a simple solution. Um, yeah, you know. we just didn't. There's no need for that. I guess the only thing was the master breaker, but like again, that wasn't really any. I don't know. Was it? No, I I don't see that as the same thing. Like, it was more like I just liked. 
like okay so in the beginning i was like oh they're showing a lot of real life things i'm getting kind of worried yeah me too like, yeah and then but like how they wrapped it up like with the third act i thought was incredible like i just loved all that again except the mom's act <laughs> yeah which sucks because she's a very well-known actor actress so yeah and you know, comedian as well so yeah, like, she, she couldn't take this a little bit more seriously. But yeah. clearly they couldn't get Will Ferrell to appear. They just were like, okay, come in the recording booth in your underwears for, like, a day. Record the lines. We'll put you in there. I think that they did that on purpose. I don't know. Did you notice his little uh, his little speech bubble when they were giving the credits? It was, like, Maya what Rudolph, and then it was just, like, a little speech bubble from a comic book, and it was just his name. Oh, that's funny. So it was just... I don't know. I, I think that they wrote him out of it. I don't think that this... I don't know. Yeah. And and t- we're, you know, we're going to go in order all this stuff. But yeah. t- it's funny because this is all spun off from uh, the actors that were returning. So, like, <laughs> Liam Neeson didn't return. No, right? not even – he didn't even kick a chair. I was really disappointed about that. Yeah. And then um, they didn't get Ray Fines. They didn't? I read that they did on IMDb. No way. They said oh, it's Ray IMDb. Fine. That was not – no. Like, they intentionally did it so that his voice is distorted so that you can't really notice it. I heard every word he that was he in said. in a microphone. No, he didn't. Yeah, he, I had, no, he spoke normally, I thought. Like, for one second, and then he did a microphone. Oh, let me check. Let me check. I'm really curious, though. Did they really... I don't... I didn't think they got him back. But, um... They have it listed kind of, on IMDb. What, let me yeah. search it. Because they have random people on that list, too. Like, did you know that the banana guy was played by none other than our future Sonic? Oh, really? Yeah. Um, <laughs> what's his name? Uh, All right. Ben Schwartz. I honestly trust Wikipedia more than I trust... Uh, really? I would The IMDb. Because, yeah, IMDb, like, at least Wikipedia has some verified editors. And they... Because with Wikipedia, they have to source it. You have to source when you put something. Oh. And there's no source currently. Well, I think that everything there is from... From that. Let's see. Alfred. Yeah, again, nothing so far on Wikipedia. I, I could make a bet that it's not. I don't think it was either, but until I saw it. We'll, we'll see. And they, they just disregard the whole Lego Batman movie. I know they said he had a side of Yeah, I didn't like, like that wasn't at the whole, all. That really upset they, me. Yeah, wasn't the whole point like he made a family and then they're just like, oh, I gotta be on my alone again. Like Yeah, it's just me and Alfred. Well, I guess, yeah, I didn't like that because they just did that so that it would merge with this so that he's alone like Tiffany Haddish. Mm-hmm. Exactly. Well, I mean, at the end of the last movie, it didn't seem like, uh, you know, uh, Batgirl wanted. No, no, but he had a family unit. Yeah, exactly. No, yeah. So I mean, that was old to me, yeah. I don't know. That kind of took away from it. Um, and yeah, look at that. Who was the last one? It was, oh, Morgan Freeman. We said he got slapped away. Yeah. Okay, so I guess that's uh, for the returning people. But uh, some other things I have written down. Um, I want that Bill and Ted Lego set so badly. <laughs> Uh, I, I don't know if you've seen the Bill and Ted no. movies, but they're great. No. Oh, they're great. So I hope they make that. And they had a Terminator thing, which Terminator's rated R, so I'm They had a Terminator thing? Well, what was the Terminator thing? That was the whole sequence where they were saying, oh, it's I took from these times. Yeah, what was the so Terminator from, element? I didn't catch that. We went from Back to the Future. Yeah. He went to um, the Back to the Future time machine. Yeah. He went to the, the, the Bill and Ted phone booth, mm-hmm. right? And then he went to the Doctor Who phone Tardis, booth. Tardis, yeah. Booth. Then he had the little teleporter thing from um, Terminator. Oh, and then he said the hot tub I want to see, from I the... I missed the figure. That's the other thing, and the R-rated hot tub thing, movie. I was going to say, yeah. I was like, wow, they took the hot tub time machine. That is not yeah. a kid's movie at all. Not even like... At least Terminator has PG-13 installments. Mm-hmm. Hot tub time machine has two rated R movies. I was like, wow. Huh. I didn't catch but, like, that one. To, to be fair, that was like a, a... It was just a time machine. They didn't. The, it was just a hot tub. They didn't show like... No, they didn't show any figures or any anything. Any figures or anything? You know, at the end credits, it says Hot Tub Time Machine owned by these oh. people. Um, they didn't show but... Doctor Who either. Do you remember that rumor that he was going to be in this one? Technically, he was. I didn't... Oh, I thought he was going to be in this one. Yeah. I thought he was in this one. Oh, wow. I didn't see... I, I never just saw, saw the TARDIS him. for one second. It was only but Doc had... Brown and Ted and... Uh, yeah, whatever. Bill, and, Bill Ted. and Ted. That was it. There wasn't any figures yeah. from the other ones. Uh, but and, and Bill and Ted, I think, had a custom printed new design. I was like, mm. freeze frame this. They ha- Bill had um, <laughs> wait which one? Fudge, I, I thought Keanu Reeves had, had uh, the, the regular one, um, long hair, like the old long hair. Yeah, but the other one um, had the the thin hair and 
blonde oh. thing. I got a, or a tan, which I got to rewatch Bill and Ted. Interesting. Third one might be coming out soon. Uh, but yeah, so that was pretty funny. <laughs> Bruce Willis. That was really strange. And it was a that recurring was joke funny. too. Three and times. It was recurring. Right? I yeah. <laughs> I was like, okay. And they got him in there. Yeah, He's that's actually him. Which is that's pretty how awesome. Cheap he is. That's how cheap he is. Yeah. That's how desperate. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, apparently he just phones in and he's on all these direct DVD stuff. So it makes sense. You know, they made a Die Hard reference, which is not a kid's movie. but Yeah. <laughs> they pander a little yeah. lot more. This, that's the other thing that kind of I didn't like. It was more self aware than the other ones. Where, I guess, well, maybe it wasn't. But like the first one, they were like, I guess the only time it was like, here's Gandalf, here's uh, so and so. I really, I don't think, I think it was on the same level. It, it was a little bit more referency than the first one. More referency to more movies. Of like, like, to more movies that Lego doesn't have. Yeah. But other than that, the first one had like TMNT in it. It had Star Wars, Simpsons, all three of those didn't appear in here. Mm-hmm. Um, also, the, the only one that this one had that Lego had was Scooby Doo, Doctor Who, Back to the Future. And Beetlejuice. Oh, it did have Beetlejuice. Yeah, because they said uh, Michael They Keaton. showed him. Yeah. He was there. The figure was there to the left. Oh, they had Michael Keaton too. Well, they had the Beetlejuice figure from Dimensions. So yeah, no, no, no. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Um, That's what I'm saying. So, yeah, I saw Beetlejuice for a split second. Yeah, that was interesting. Which was weird because they were, they were teasing out a Gremlins reference, but there was no Gremlins. Reference. Did you see the DVDs? Is that what you were talking about? The DVD covers that uh, were in Walmart's. Yes, yeah. those also the um, Emmett's movie reviews. Oh. Yeah. Okay. There's no uh, Harry Potter physical reference, which I was kind of sad about. Especially with the success yeah, that we had this year. Yeah. Which is cool, because that's the house like, that I'm from. Yeah! yeah, exactly. That's what happened in our theater, too. Yeah. 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 Uh, what else do I have here? Um, I didn't like that Will Ferrell just switched his passions. Like, to me, that kind of disheartens me. What do you mean? Like, he just gave up on Lego. Like I said, he was going to, but, like, yeah. That was kind of sad. Well, if your children start touching your stuff... Then you... Go back to your old ways. <laughs> he, has to go, he had to go golfing. Yeah. I don't know. That's fine. Uh, Justice League leaves with Lex in the Javelin. Um, yeah, they, I saw the Javelin. I'm like, that's set number 56027. Wow, look at you. I don't even know that. No, that's not the that's oh, okay. Not the number. Um, but yeah. Um, but wait, with that, I want to say, putting Gal Gadot in this movie was pointless. I don't know why they did yeah, that. Yeah, there's a couple things here that I was going to say. Like, So they have... An OG Aquaman that exists in the same universe mm-hmm. as well as an Adam West Batman, right? Yeah, and then makes sense three different Bat- Wonder Womans. Yeah, the thing with the Wonder Woman one was they should have just made her the Justice League Wonder Woman, you know, like from the new yeah movie. that was like it. updated her like that the rest of them. Do. I don't know why they didn't. Yeah, but now it just doesn't make sense, you know. But and and they didn't do much with Jonah Hill and Channing Tatum, which they know. were Channing Tatum was in a lot. He was in he was it in more than I mean, together, yeah, together. I guess. They were here, though, But then again, more... he was in it more in Lego Batman than this one. No, he was in it more Superman. here, I think. What did he have in Lego know. Batman? He had the Fortress Remember of Solitude scene, to... and then yeah. when he was on the news, that's it. Yeah, well, I was... the Fortress of Solitude scene was, like, a good 10 minute. He wasn't in it, though. Like, for the whole the party, thing. You know. I'm telling you, he was I mean, in it more here. They had him in the song. They had him at the end when he was getting married. Oh, yeah, when they were saying Superman. But they didn't have Channing Tatum talking, is my point. Yeah, he did. He song, was talking to Batman. He responded. He said something to Batman. Like, look at okay. me, whatever. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. All right. Um, but I love that song, by the way. That was the which one? The Gotham Gotham Girls, I think it was what they called it. When they were name dropping, like, Vic, I ain't no Vicky Vale, no Selena Kyle. Oh, the second Man, scene, whatever. Man, that was great. Love that. That one was better than the first one, but I still didn't like both. <laughs> well, yeah, Batman was singing, too, so. I know you like DC. Oh, well, yeah, yeah, yeah. That one was a little bit better, yeah, because yeah. that was the one with Batman singing. Yeah, that one was a little. The first one I did not like. No, that one was decent. Like. I like Charlie but my Day singing. Was everything that was is fun. not awesome. Yeah, the credits song was really good. I don't remember what it was. There was some another song that was near the end. That I think that was good. See, I want the soundtrack to be out. I'm like I want to listen to these, mm-hmm. these jams. Especially, you know? yeah, the everything's not awesome. Yeah, that was like touching, and it was it was also really good and it was funny. But uh, what else do I have here? Um... <laughs> You said that awesome. okay so i would say that oh yeah a few things one thing was sweet mayhem was adorable without her helmet but uh they barely used her yeah like she didn't really seem like she, i think in the first draft she had a bigger role, i think so too because I, like. I was listening to her talk <laughs> i was telling you this i there was a behind the scenes footage and she was talking about how 
she was so excited to play this character who was going to empower all these girls and stuff. She's like, I'm, I'm playing a superhero. I was like, shoot, I didn't know that. Like, I didn't want to know that she's a superhero. And then mm-hmm. they never say that. And they just, yeah. they don't really talk don't about her. her. Origin. She doesn't do much. Yeah. And I, I mean, I know she's, she's a self insert for the main, the sister. That's the sis, that's, that's the sister's, sister's Emmett. Emmett. Yeah. But like, yeah. So. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe, hopefully in the th- in the third movie if they make one, which I'd rather not. I don't know. Will, how, definitely. You think uh, – I'm trying to picture how they – like this one, they kind of – they. so the first one was revolutionary. And then this one they were like, well, what what, what can we do? You want to do Time Machine? We'll do Time Machine. No, well, we'll they said it. two things. They said, what could we do that isn't Toy Story, which is good because these are right. overlapping franchises because, like, they both have similar ideas and they're both well, toys coming in. They've now one up Toy Story. Thing. With time travel, also. oh yeah, and I mean, singing, yeah. Well, but these are like, well, the the, the Lego movies are, are um, are action movies. Yeah. If you think oh, I'm that. not saying that it's actually better action. than the Toy Story. Yeah, I'm yeah, just, no, saying, I'm just like, saying like it makes it like I wouldn't say time travel is wanting it up, and singing is, uh, you know, when she loved me. <laughs> yeah. Na, 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 na. And you know. You got a friend of me. I'll go sailing no more. Oh yeah, the first Toy Story had three songs. But I. Strange. But that was only sung by her though. Like there was only one musical number. This was this was more. Yeah, I know. I wouldn't. But I wouldn't even call this one a musical. You know what else I didn't like? Something what? that I really liked about the Lego Batman movie was that they didn't shy away from using licensed songs. Mm-hmm. And. No, I didn't mind that because they. They only the, had the one. Lego Batman. They had like weird covers of licensed songs like. Man in the Mirror, but it wasn't. By but that was the only thing. one. What else was the weird cover? Uh, what was it? Hold up one second. There was another one. They had Invincible. They had the song that um, Jonas Brothers, whatever group made for the movie. Well, yeah, I which I like that. Song. I like that one too. Um, yeah. Is that the song? Yeah, feeling forever. Okay, maybe they didn't. Maybe they didn't. Okay, I was just thinking about that one. Um, and I didn't like Invincible. Invincible, Invincible was one. used for a second in uh, Batgirl's thing. There was the other one when they were fighting with all the Lego Batman. I can't picture it right now. Um, we can well, be heroes. We beginning. can be heroes. They had the song in the beginning. Which? The original song. What do you mean the original? Oh, the original one for uh, Batman. Batman. Yeah. I'm Batman. Yeah. 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 Oh, wait. Okay. One thing. We're just jumping all around here. So, yeah. I was going to say Sweet Mayhem, the main villain, Villain quote quote yeah. queen whatever she was she got a lot of screen time yeah and it was okay because um she was funny uh, i just didn't like her songs no. that much yeah. and then uh really the third main character batman had a huge role like benny unikitty and metal beard did nothing in this movie <laughs> yeah again they didn't do anything again and again though at the first movie they didn't do anything well what'd they do i mean they benny did more than they did a spaceship. in this movie they you were know, all plot they devices. Kind of them they up. were yeah, what they... did Rex say? Uh, C uh, convenient plot device. C P D. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. That was it. Yeah, convenient plot device. C P D. Yeah. Um, which yeah, Rex had a big role in this movie, and he was funny, but again, some of his scenes went on too long. Yeah, I watched. Uh, a, but... Actually, I was watching your haul video before this, and uh, an ad came which up on that. Video? Your haul patrol. Oh, thank you. And uh, the Lego Movie ad came up on it, and watching it, he's like. Uh, it, oh, what did he say? He said something, and in my head, it sounded so sinister. Now, like it was just it completely changed my perspective on the character, really? and I just thought it was really interesting. Really? Yeah, uh, I wish you remember what he said. Yeah, but uh, some some kid did freaking spoil it. Really, three months ago, he's like, uh, Rex is Emmett from the future under the washing machine. Wait, so they actually said that. Yep. How you knew this for how long? How did they know this? Hmm. Well, stupid. I don't want to. I don't remember what blog it is, and I'm gonna make a big statement. So, okay. a blog posted the whole story. Wow. If you remember back in October, yeah, and that was such I didn't a read lame it. Thing to do, and then they were forced to remove it by Lego. But that was it. Mm. That's the only thing I could think of. So yeah, I thought that that blog also had stuff like Robin and Wu and the other ninjas or something were gonna pop up. I remember hearing that. I don't know. You know what was funny? Yeah, it seemed like they cut Ninjago parts because I heard that. Like, I heard that that leaked Lloyd figure was in a Ninjago movie set. Well, that I mean, was just, that could have been just somebody set. taking a picture of the regular one. 
unless yeah. you heard. Well, stuff. it was with a whole bunch but of other leaks. Did like um, it was this was public? Did um, yeah. To me, I was a little surprised. Like even the first one, like they could have done something to acknowledge it at least. Like Lloyd or so, I don't know. I was a little sad about I'm that. I'm glad they didn't. No, no I'm glad I wanted because to. This is... They don't have to even have them have a, a line. No, because that that's a different world. That's a different world. Okay, different but world. then that's give me the original. Give me the original Ninjago. Okay, they could do that. I mean, they did that in the first movie. Yeah. And no Johnny Thunder. And no Johnny eh? Thunder. Look hey, at us. Same wow, one. Wow, holy crud. That was weird. Yeah. But they did have Fabuland. And this is one part that of That was my so sad. <laughs> I felt so yeah. bad for you. <laughs> They had the, like, when they were all slaves. I like, was laughing so thing. much. But if you think, at first you may think, okay, why were, if she wasn't evil, why did that happen? Yeah. But I, I guess that's just Finn's imagination. But of, of did you hear the evil. song too? It was like a really depressing version of a catchy yeah. song. I was like, so much. It was, yeah. <laughs> but I'm, I'm glad they had, they had so, like, the only Lego thing they actually referenced was Fabuland. Like, really, if you think about Duplo. it. Duplo. Well, I mean, okay, Duplo and the and Belleville license stuff. The horse. They did Belleville. Wasn't that the horse? Wasn't that what that was supposed no, to be? No, that's the friend's horse. That's the that's friend's a friend's horse. horse. Oh, I see. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I was amazed. I was like, wow, Fab. I mean, I like Fabuland a lot, but no Bionicle, no JT. No Bionicle. That's true. Maybe that's where the third one can go because he's more grown up now. Maybe they'll bring back a, uh, a thing, an act, the constructible figure. It line. could be. A, there you go. You heard it here first. I'm so, calling it. Um, the Marvel reference was great. Yeah, then are returning our phone calls. That was good. They said <laughs> something else they in that line. Said didn't Star they? Wars. Oh. Yeah, I couldn't hear it because then the person left to me was like, ah. Mm, I don't know like, what great. it was, but yeah, it, it is something that I I think that I'll see and appreciate a lot more a second time. Mm-hmm. Um, and I, I I wish they didn't show that Emmett had this dream or whatever because there, the there was no point yeah. showing that he had a dream. It was kind of like handholdy. Mm-hmm. And, you know, it's like, oh, Emmett had a dream. Yeah, it wasn't even a Lego dolphin, so I was like, all right, so this is, we're already starting with the real world stuff. Okay. It was, well, it was like a weird modified Lego dolphin, which is weird because they had the regular Lego dolphin later on in the movie. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. So, so, I don't know, the whole, I don't know how I feel about the Rex time travel thing. Like, I don't know if that's yeah, sad You with really me. are stuck on that one. Uh, so if Rex didn't save Emmett, then everybody would have been happy and moved on without him. That feels really out of character for Emmett to be that upset. What do you mean? Like, so he was seeing everybody move on and be happy, and they were still partying, whatever, and everything was awesome. And he got mm-hmm. upset about that? That, to Who, me... Emmett? Yeah. That's what no, turned him was, into Rex. No. Because he was forgotten. He was under the dryer no. and he's seeing Finn and oh. her play together. And he saw Wildstyle and Benny. They were all partying. And then he got upset. Oh, is that why he got upset? I thought he was just upset because he was stuck under the dryer. No, he. they showed them partying and he's like, he called out to them or whatever. He was just stuck, I thought. That was I don't know. To me, I, I, I mean, to me, I didn't care because it was like, that's the whole point of that character is that this was... The the time travel is just an excuse by Finn to cope with his problems that he wants to grow up to be like Rex, but he doesn't have to grow up to be like Rex because it's making him into a mean person. So you're not saying that the time travel actually happened? Well, I mean, it happened in the Lego movie story, but it, that was you just the way You don't think it actually that... happened? No, I mean, obviously not, No. Like that there's toys coming like to life. Is, what do you mean it can't actually happen? The toys, no, the toy. There's no toys coming to life in these movies. Like, what do you mean? Remember in this one, in the first okay, okay. one can with Emmett yes. on the table when he moves and everything. And then on this one, they were literally fighting underneath the thing. They were coming to life. They were like popping. Yes. Uh, yeah. No. 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 That's just a way that we could look at the narrative storyline because if you see, the mm. people never look at the toy and then go, "Oh, look, it's moving right now." They they always look yeah, at like the toy, toy when it's not moving. Exactly. It's just a way of their imagination. Are you say saying that, that Toy Story is not actually point. happening either? Toy Story is a different universe. Uh, that's a different. No, universe. but I just think We're that not... the toys are coming to life. Because in no, this because one. Toy St- in Toy Story in Toy Story one, the toy come to life. Um, Scared Sid, Woody you're comes right. To life with Sid. Yes. Uh... In these, whenever they look at them, they always make sure that they're not moving when they look at them. They can move when they're looking behind, but never when they're looking at them. So I, I just think it's, it's like. No, Further but imagination. Uh, okay, I don't know. I, guess, I, I don't guess... know. I never. I figured like the time travel didn't actually happen. Like these stories don't actually. Ha- these are just ways that they could string along what happened in their storyline. As somebody who used to play with Lego as a kid, like 
we would always make excuses on why this happened or that happened or this happened or that happened. Yeah. And this is just him going with this. Oh, you know, he has to go away because it's it's he time traveled and he did this and he's actually Emmett from the future. Like there's such conventional storylines that are almost obvious in a way, but that's because they're from the minds of kids and teens. I don't know. I guess you're right. Maybe I'm totally wrong with that. Maybe I'm totally wrong with that. Because in the first movie, they do move a lot and stuff. But I felt like in this movie, they always conveniently show that they're not being looked at. Well, but then he was attracted to the singing and stuff. But I guess you're right. That could just be his imagination. Exactly. Yeah. Okay, okay. Also, I can't remember because everyone was laughing. When the end credit scene, the end projection came up, did she say this is not how the story is gonna end, or did she say this is not how this is not one of those movies? I think it was this is not one of those movies. I don't really? Know. Okay, then I don't like that. Um, Why? Well, I don't want them acknowledging that they're in a movie. Okay, then it was probably this is not how it's gonna end. You're right. You're. It, I don't know. Um, did I talk about how Batman was basically the third main character? Yeah, a little bit. Yeah. yeah. So um, that was an interesting choice. A lot of new designs, I think. Um, uh, I liked I liked uh, all their party outfits and wedding outfits. Uh, the wedding thing got spoiled yeah. in one of the trailers. Or actually, somebody commented first on one of my videos. They're like, um, they're going to get married. I was like, okay, thanks. And then I saw that, uh, <laughs> and then I saw a trailer where they were like, uh, I'm going to marry the man of bats and whatever. So I was like, all right. Yeah, I think, I, thankfully, that the only thing that got spoiled for me was the washing machine. Oh, also, in the press kit of the New York Toy Fair, uh, they said Maya Rudolph as mom. And I was like, oh. Oh, really? Yeah. So I'm like, Interesting. Okay, that's also, where we're going, did huh? you... I never... Uh, I never heard the our Mom-a-get-in until, like... I don't know. Someone said it, and I was like, oh, it's our mom because it's everyone together, and then I realized what was going to happen. I just realized... I, all I was hearing was the mom a get in So, yeah. Well, I was like, mom a get in I'm like, oh, yeah. the mom's going to do something because I, I heard this beforehand. Mm-hmm. Uh there was something else. Uh, spoil. It was a spoiler thing. Oh, did you expect the twist that they weren't actually evil? Yes, because of the trailers. No, you know what? No, that's not true. I I did not expect that they weren't evil. I genuinely thought that they were, and I did not see the Rex thing coming at all. Um. Yeah. Same here. Same here. Like like they spoiled that that he was from the future. And even then, I was doubting it, but I didn't know that he was going to be evil. So I was like, oh. Yeah, I didn't expect that. And then I remember seeing a trailer where they were f- fighting in space, and it was Benny and uh, Balthazar in the the ship. And then I realized when they said, oh, shoot, like we're on the same side. I was like, uh, and then they said that Rex was evil. I was like, oh, so they're going to go have a little space fight. And then that mm-hmm. happened. So, yeah. um, But there's a lot of potential there for sets. Like that Unikitty, I want that that like plane thing that she turns into. That was awesome. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that looked really cool. Um, yeah, and I want a black dinosaur. That's what I really <laughs> yeah. want. Uh, what else here? Uh, Rex had transparent torso and hip pieces. Oh Off yeah, board. I saw that. Off board. Like... Um, what else was there? Did you catch the Abraham Lincoln joke? The very dark Teen Titans esque joke. What was it? When he was falling into the pit, he said, "What he say? I had tickets to the theater." <laughs> Oof. Yep. <laughs> And I thought, wow, I think I was the funny. only person that laughed That's during funny, the theater. You're not American, and right? I understood, yeah. So that yeah. was fun. Uh, that what funny. else is there? I'm trying to think. Uh, yeah, I have here no Dumbledore, no physical Harry Potter stuff mm-hmm. again. That was disappointing. Um, what did you think of Ruth Gator Ginsburg's cameo? I thought she was going to have a line. She didn't even talk. She had no point in the movie. I didn't get that. Like, yeah, <laughs> I, and there was but, someone else because you that, said they were going to be in the role, so I thought they were like. Gonna, yeah, I thought she uh, was going to be the one that married them. Because I knew that they were getting married, and then I saw her there, and you can see the hearts and stuff. So I was like, oh, so she's going to be the one. I didn't expect uh, the cupcake too. Mm-hmm. I like that. Yeah, he was a that they were both alone with some random British butler. I appreciated that. That was that was fun. Yeah. Um, but what else? Well, ice cream guy kept interrupting them for some reason. Yeah, I didn't think that was funny. I don't know. Yeah, I didn't. I don't even know if that was supposed to be funny. I thought there was going to be a plot line with it, but I don't know. Oh, never. Yeah, so I guess never. They're together now anything. because I was listening. I remember watching the first one, and they were saying, I wa- I listened to the audio commentary, and somebody in there said that they were teasing that Unikitty and Batman were gonna have a relationship because at the end they like hug or something like that after Lucy and him break up. Yeah, and then 
that went away, and then they just shoehorn this in. So I thought that was... Yeah. Well, if they make a Lego Batman 2, they're probably just going to be like, yeah. oh, yeah, they broke up anyways. So what's up? And it'll, you know, like it'll just completely disregard Or maybe it. it'll take place before this, but I don't know. Maybe. Again, that's what I like about that one, is that it doesn't really go to the real world. Like, they sure, they reference, like, it smells like dirty underwear down there or whatever, but, like, I don't know, it just felt more... Again, it's to a me, different movie, no, though, but... That's... but... But, like, to me, that ruined... There wasn't a lot of meaning in Lego Batman. It was just, you know, except not being a loner or whatever. You need team help or whatever. Like, this one, there's so much more discussion and meaning because this real-world stuff. Well, in, for no, Lego movie too. see, for me, I feel like this would be a discussion for a different day. Um, but I really like... Because the whole thing with Nightwing, like, that's really symbolic in the comics. Like, him moving on and whatever. I know that it was just a little quick thing he puts on the soup level. He's Nightwing now. But like he was, he was worried that he was seeing himself in, uh, become Batman or whatever, and become brooding and by himself. Yeah, you may say so. that's for the comics, but in the Lego Batman movie, they did not address this. They didn't even. Hit well, he said, that. "No, I don't want to be. Oh no, don't do what I would do." That was literally the line from that. Oh, it was a line. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. It was one line. No, he was just Dick. Uh, Dick was doing stuff with uh, in the Batmobile, and he was like, uh, "Think, what would Batman do? I'd be dark, brooding, blah blah." blah stuff like that so I don't anyways know. uh anything else about this i'm trying to think um, i had one more when you, like like two what was the topic before nightwing and lego batman and meeting uh i had something to say about that uh, i mentioned gandalf and then i went on a train of thought because i have it written here Dang it, uh something else something. that i noticed was that i guess finn's play style radically changed from building with like colorful bricks to mm -hmm deep and dark apocalyptic stuff yeah he was like it's apocalypse bird. yeah <laughs> That's also funny. i had three tiers i want that third tier on the bottom did you notice that oh the one on like the table the, the had a bottom level like it was the really? same model but then it would had a, it had a one underneath so i was like really? i really want i want to see that up close and it was just a quick shot but That's um something else that we didn't talk about oh yeah. was queen whenever one obby being the heart Oh, that was awesome. Dude, what the heck? I was literally going to say that. <laughs> I was literally, that was a topic I was going to say, and then I just remembered it right now. That was awesome. Uh, yeah, I, I wanted that say, heart before, like, I saw that you got the, mm -hmm. the, the bag. They were giving um, I got yeah. posters, um, but oh, no. uh, I want that bag. They haven't had it in Canada. And now I want it even more. I love mm -hmm. that so much. It's a key thing. I'm amazed it's not in a set. Like, it should have been in, like, the Dream House set, maybe. Yeah. Yeah. That, like, the whole. Yeah, I got emotional, and I don't even have, like, siblings. And to me, that was just so powerful. That, like, mm -hmm. him giving... Like, I, I, I don't know, I just love that. That reminded... Yeah, to that me, that was, was better than too. the bit where he goes over and what would the construction worker say if, to the bad guy. Uh, to me, oh, that, that felt more... This was more heartfelt, pun intended. You know what I mean? You know, I might I might actually agree there, which... But then again, I think I just related to it more, but yeah. Yeah, I guess which that's true. Still, Maybe I think we the, just... The, I think the first movie's better, but... Yeah, I think like it is, too. Part, um, which I, I still know. like, but there's just that one thing... The one thing I don't like about the real life in this movie... Is the mom. Is the mom. Like, that yeah. really... That was a key part. And they and kept they going with the foot something. thing, too. Yeah. Like, just all her acting was always just bad. But also, one thing is... The heart thing. Somebody in the comments of that polybag review, because I got it a little bit early, mm -hmm. they were like, oh, that might be Queen whatever, because it has the same colors. I'm like, oh, maybe you're Interesting. Right. I, I didn't see it, that coming at all. I love that. And I might get that set now, because I, it would be yeah. fun to have her be like a little rocket ship, and I'll put Benny on him, on oh, her. Look at that. That's how they sell toys. Yeah. Um, something else <laughs> that I just remembered was that, did you notice their house color? No. What was it was it? yellow. What's their real life house was yellow, like Emmett's dream house. Oh, I didn't notice that. I thought that was really sweet. I just know Emmett's dream house is it's the house from the first movie. Well, what? What do you mean? Remember the house from the first movie that he built? Oh, for yeah, it's a little. It's the same color. He didn't build everything. it. He crashed into it. He's like, uh, I want to go home. This is not what I meant. Yeah. yeah. Well, I thought like he said, I want to go home, and it like built it. No, it was on a. Home. They were moving it. It was on a truck, uh, okay. and then the motorcycle went through it, and then he went up in the attic and stuff like that. Uh, but anyways, I was like, okay. I was like, oh, that's really sweet, because like when I when I built like Minecraft and stuff, like I would always build my house in the game, so it's just cute to see that like Finn like is building his own, or like Emmett is building the house that he lives in. That was just a cool little touch, I thought. Yeah, I see, I see, I see. Um, I'm sad that Planty didn't have a bigger role. Yeah, Planty did not do anything. <laughs> 
they really hyped that. And that they paid all that money to get Tom Cruise to come in and voice him, and nothing, eh? Really disappointing. Wait, what? <laughs> uh, Tom Cruise? No way. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, anything else? That... Uh, not, not really. I think we covered a lot. Yeah. Oh, almost 50 minutes worth. But yeah, it was. I really liked it. 50? Wait, 50? Worth 50 minutes, minutes yeah. Holy crud. Um, <laughs> oh my gosh, but yeah. But I really liked it, and yeah. I, I was happy. It seems like you liked it a little bit less than I did, which is interesting. Yeah, I'm a little more critical when it comes to, like, the, I don't, I'm not a big fan of the real world stuff. Interesting. I love that um, part. But, and you know what's funny? I know a lot of people who think the same thing you do. Yeah. Like, they really don't like the real stuff. But that's to me, was just so clever, what they did with the first movie, and then they did it again. The, the only things I didn't like about it was the mob. And then how they had it in the beginning for a little bit. But I guess, meh, the beginning, no, no. The thing I didn't no, the like beginning was, was fine. Image Dream. Image yeah, Dream, Image Dream I didn't like. The, the setup was worrying that I was introduced so early. The setup I thought was good with, um, yeah. Um, like, they had to re, you know, just catch people up in case they didn't see the last one. But Yeah. And I think they, they had, like, a, a flashback with the heart, right? That was. Yeah. But that was not. Was that the same actor who played Finn? It was, the but movie? they never showed him. They never showed his front with the girl. I was thinking about this before because I wanted to talk about that. I was like, did they de-age him? Like, did they CGI yeah. that whole? Mm-hmm. And then I thought, no, no, no. They just, it was the little girl. She was looking down at the heart, whatever. And then it was just his back. They didn't actually show it. So, mm, okay, okay. Um, but yeah, yeah, I like that. And I, I, I don't know. I was sad to see like we didn't get to see the whole room again. Like it was very quick shots when we were in the real world. Mm-hmm. Um, I understand. I mean, they didn't really need to put it. And then like, they just showed a section. They probably had to recreate that from scratch, you know? Yeah, maybe. Yeah. Cause they, they did go on tour with it though. Yeah. I remember that. Uh, but, to like, Florida. Yeah, I think it's still do. And, yeah. um, what else? Uh, I think Lego movie three will have a bigger role for Will Ferrell. You think? Yeah. It'll probably be like the dads trying to sell their stuff or something. I don't know. Hmm. Interesting. I think that might be Toy Story 2 territory, so we got to see. Hmm. Yeah. I don't know. To me, this I want to see where they go. Like, I'm genuinely interested mm-hmm. because they did a lot with this. And to me, it was different because it was a musical and it was yeah. it, it was very different. And I like that. I like that it wasn't a rehash and it wasn't, you know. I completely agree. Mm-hmm. Um, but, so. uh, yeah. Oh, Wizard of Oz characters were there for like a second. That was dumb. Yeah. I they didn't even say a word. I thought that they and well, why yeah. was why were they singling out the Tin Man? You know when I don't remember because I saw that trailer and it was is Ruth Gettig Bader Ginsburg and the Tin Man and the Chocolate Bar. Like why? Like why them? Oh. Like why I him? Uh, also, quickly, do you want to talk about what do you want to see in a set? Because I mentioned it, but uh, oh, in a set, you said Unity as a plane. Mm-hmm. I would say Queen Whatever is Castle. Yeah, that'd be a cool set. I, I want to see the guard. I want to get a brick built phone. I think that could happen. We'd probably get the guard, yeah. Um, oh, brick built phone. I don't know about that. Maybe like kind kind of like know. what they did with the Kregel. I don't think they did that. Um, but what else? There's a lot. I want the so carrot. Much do with I want the carrot. Over. That was pretty awesome. I want Bruce Willis and Bruce Willis. Yeah. I don't know what how that would work. <laughs> and Bill and Ted. Well, okay, for me, Bill and Ted. But that's like not. That was like a split second mm-hmm. build. Is there any apocalypse characters that you would want that you saw? Uh, I mean, it was funny that Daphne appeared. Yeah, that was that, that was, was kind of was that the actress? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. They've changed yeah. her so many times. Um, but like, if she's in it, that would be smart. And I think they might even include out of every licensed character in this movie. I think she's the most likely to be to include her in a set. Really? Because it's straight owned by Warner Bros. And that figure is so hard to get. Mm. She goes for like, I don't know, sixty on eBay, seventy. Uh, sorry, I just thought of two more things. Mm-hmm. Um, Green Lantern. I thought he was supposed to be left behind. That's what the book said. The actual instructions uh, for the Apocalypse Brick set was that he forgot his lantern and Justice League left him behind. So, a little disappointed oh. about that. Um, yeah. Like I said, they didn't do much with Superman and Green Lantern. Mm-hmm. I liked him together. I liked him flying on the on the lawnmower. That was pretty cool. Yeah. Um, and then there was something else. Uh, Wild Style. She had her hair permanently markered. Yeah. So, I guess that's from... I thought that first, was yeah. interesting. I don't know how I feel yeah. about that, but again, they didn't really go to her backstory that much. Which yeah, uh, maybe that'll be the third one. Maybe they will. I, I knew. I guess because of what you were saying beforehand with the collectible minifigure series, mm-hmm. and every single time that, like right at the beginning, they mentioned something about why don't you hate that song? Like the song's so catchy. Blah, blah blah. I was like, all right, all right. Mm-hmm. I see where we're going. We're dropping little hints for the future. Yeah. But, yeah. All right. 
<laughs> Anything else? Uh, I think we're good. All right. Well, I guess this is going to be weird to say, but uh, that's it for this week. And then next week, uh, there might be a live show. We'll see. Because depending on... We'll see. We'll, we'll, we'll have to figure it out. I will be in Florida. You'll probably see some videos of something and other. Uh, we'll, we'll have to figure it out. Um, but yeah. Anyways, guys, uh, I hope that you all go out and see the Lego Movie 2. Um, and let us know down below what you guys think. Uh, I think there'll be an episode out beforehand because I saw that a lot of people actually asked questions last week, Justin. So we have a lot to answer. Um, so that's, that's exciting. Good, that's but uh, yeah, leave your questions down below if you want us to answer them next week. And um, yeah. Anything else? Sign off? No, I think we're good. All right. Have a great day, everybody, and we'll see you all the next one.